Hi everybody, this is Prophetess Shanika Sutton. This audio is for both men and women who want to get married. No, a lot of times the reason why um, you're not getting married, your relationships are not working out, um, you come close to marriage and you've missed out or just nobody is considering you as a spouse or you always end up choosing the wrong partners and it never works out and it keeps it keeps going on in a cycle many times it's because of spirit spouses many persons don't even know they have spirit spouses many persons don't even know that there is a curse over their life not to get married so this audio is to help you to get rid of that demon to expose the demon so that you can get married and i'm seeing even now that many of you after you start listening to this you're going to start having dreams of these spirit spouses some of you know that they're there some of you don't know but when you start using this audio you are going to have dreams of them because they're going to show up because they're going to manifest okay demons when demons are 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 exposed when demons are when the fire of god um, begins to expose them and the light of god begins to shine they show up so they might just show up in your dreams don't be surprised or afraid it's just a good sign that they are um, on their way to defeat okay next thing is that before we start um if you are not a christian and you are having sex out of marriage you have to repent before you use this prior audio you cannot entertain the devil through sexual sin and then want to get rid of him no it does not work that way and if you are a christian but you're struggling with sexual sin god is more than able to deliver you well, i have a prior audio for sexual sin that you can refer to after you've used this or before now we're going to start every spirit spouse Demon that has been married to these people, I command you to lose your whole now. That covenant that you had with that spirit spouse, I declare it is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you have been having sexual dreams, dreams of perversion. That somebody is, you feel like somebody's sleeping with you, you feel like somebody's trying to seduce you, but you don't even know it's a spirit spouse that you have. Many, many, many um, men have had dreams uh, of women sleeping with them and wet dreams and all of that and they don't even know that it's a spirit wife what they what she comes to do is to keep you bound in sexual sin to prevent you from getting married for women it's a spirit husband that sleeps with you it, it, the, the, this demon will impregnate you too this is how fibroids and endometriosis and cysts is how it comes about when these men these spirit spirit spouses sleep with you this is how these conditions of the womb come about when these spirit husbands sleep with you leave all kinds of deposits in your womb in the spiritual realm and in the natural realm you start having issues these things are real okay every demon that has been sleeping with these people come out uh, in the name of jesus christ uh, your spirit spouse i say receive fire come out uh, in jesus name every covenant uh, every marriage uh, every spiritual marriage in the realms of the spirit uh, that you didn't even know about uh, i break it now by fire i break Break it now by fire. I break it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out, you evil spirit spouse. You no longer have a place in their life. They will get married. I said that they will get married. For the Bible says marriage is honorable unto all and the bed is undefiled. So I declare right now that they will they will partake in this honorable covenant, this honorable institution that God, God has created for men and women to come together as one. I declare that every demon that has been blocking them from enjoying this institution, I break your power now in the name of jesus christ i break your powers now in jesus name your spirit spouse your powers are broken now by fire i said your powers are broken now by fire come out you demon i said come out now in the name of jesus christ come out and leave god's people now you spirit spouse you perverted demon come out in the name of jesus christ come out in the name of jesus christ come out in the name of jesus christ come out you spirit spouse some of you the reason why you can't get married is because it's, gen it's a generational spirit these spirit spouses many times they are generational so your mother your mother didn't get married your father didn't get married your father was promiscuous your mother got married but she her marriage ended in no time and now you're experiencing the same thing with women in your family they've been going through the same thing the men in your family they don't they don't stay committed to one woman and because of that you are now experiencing the same thing or the, the women in your family they keep coming across abusive men who who don't stay faithful you find that you're going through the same cycle it's because this generational demon is in your life and it's leading you to the wrong men every generational spirit come out 
in Jesus name I declare right now your powers are broken now in Jesus name your powers are broken now in the name of Jesus Christ by fire I break your powers by fire your generational spirit spouse I break your powers by fire that evil cycle you've been putting these people through where they keep, they keep choosing the wrong people they keep ending up in the wrong places they keep ending up in sexual sin they never get married they're always disappointed I break that cycle now by fire 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 somebody needs to declare that I'm a new creature in Jesus Christ and all the things are passed away including generational curses including generational cycles including things that your your four parents did or your parents did are, are now affecting you you are cleansed through the blood of Jesus Christ and all the things are passed away and behold all things are made new come on someone needs to say that I'm a new creature in Christ and all things are passed away and behold all things are made new so I am gonna be the first in my family to have a good marriage I am gonna be the first in my family to to enjoy marriage i will no longer be a part of, the, of this generational cycle and this generational curse it ends with me in jesus name i am going to get married i am different i'm walking in the footsteps of jesus christ and he has given me a new life and i receive it now in jesus name many of you are listening to this right now you're yawning and you're burping you're coughing sneezing vomiting you need to pass gas you need to use the bathroom and you're wondering why am i going through this why am i why am i why am i spitting up what is going on you're being delivered demons are leaving you some of you might even manifest demons don't worry it's nothing to be afraid of just keep praying come out you spirit spouse i break your paws now by fire i said i break your paws now come out you demon you perverted spirit i command you to leave now those come on those of you want to be married but you're you're not ready to give up sexual sin you need to repent right now father i repent of every sexual sin every every fornication every adultery masturbation pornography whatever it is that i've indulged in phone sex whatever it is certain conversations that i've indulged in that were sexual i repent of that now in jesus name come on somebody needs to say that and i will no longer walk in the footsteps of the devil but i receive a new life now in the mighty name of jesus christ i'm a new creature and all things are passed away come out your spirit spouse i said get out in jesus name you'll no longer bring them in sexual sin you'll no longer stop them from getting married your powers are broken by fire your powers are broken by fire people are gonna get married after listening to this audio i said your powers are broken by fire jesus christ has set them free so you have to leave come out in the name of jesus christ i said you have to leave come out in jesus name come out now by fire come out now come out now come out you evil spirit come on some of you you're wearing a ring for your spirit your spirit's supposed to you don't know so i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you to do something for me right now okay you're gonna take your ring finger okay you put you're gonna you're gonna put your you're gonna put up your ring finger your your left hand and then you're gonna target your ring finger and then you're gonna pretend like you're removing a ring sometimes there's a ring there in the spiritual realm and you don't know i remember one time i did this on a live broadcast and somebody had a dream that the ring broke off her finger she didn't even know that the ring was there in the spiritual realm many of us don't know that that what we see in the natural realm was already conceived in the spiritual realm so you can't get married in the natural realm in the spiritual realm you're already married to the spirit spouse so he's he or she depending on on what nature of this the the, the, the what kind of spirit spouse you're dealing with or your gender they won't allow you to get married because you're already married to them you can't be married to two people at once so they get very jealous they push away the the, the spouse that god has for you they put you in sexual sin they are even if you're not practicing sexual sin because you're saved they they prevent you from your from seeing your spouse or from your spouse seeing you so you need to remove that ring so you're gonna pretend as if you're removing a ring and i'm gonna pray and while i'm praying you're gonna remove that ring from your finger some of you are gonna feel fire on your finger some of you are gonna start vomiting immediately it means that deliverance is taking place every ring that was placed on your finger in the realms of the spirit for you to be tied to the spirit spouse to represent the covenant out with the spirit spouse i remove that ring now in jesus name i remove that ring now in the mighty name of jesus christ i, I remove that ring and i break the covenant by fire i remove that ring now by fire i remove that ring now by fire i remove that ring now by fire i break that covenant that the demon established with you through this ring i break that covenant now, now in jesus name i break that covenant now in jesus name i break that covenant jesus christ has already set you free i break that covenant now the bible says who the 
sunset spring spring indeed. So the covenant that that spirit was established with you, that marriage that was done that you don't even know about, I break it now in Jesus' name. You are delivered and set free. Jesus Christ has already set you free. I said right now you're delivered from that evil covenant that was laid down between you and the spirit spouse. I break it now by fire. I break it now by fire. I break it now by fire. I break that covenant now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I command that ring to be removed now. I command remove that ring. I command that ring to, re- to be removed now. In, Je- in the name of Jesus Christ, I command that ring to be removed now. In Jesus' name, uh, that spiritual ring that was given to you by the spirit spouse. Come on, you're ending the marriage with the spirit spouse. Uh, I remove that ring now by fire. 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 I remove that ring now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, the reason why you can't get married, somebody put you on an evil altar for you not to get married. Sometimes it can be an ex. Who cursed you? It could just be as simple as you having a soul tie with an ex and they declare that you will never get married to anybody else except them. You'll never be in a relationship outside of them. Sometimes somebody, somebody got jealous of you put your name on an altar and cursed you that you would never get married and no man would ever see you or you'd never find a good woman sometimes it's from your generation too where somebody cursed your great-grandmother your grandmother your grandfather and because of that that witchcraft and that, that curse that was laid down against them it's not affecting you witchcraft is a, is is sometimes and oftentimes the cause of uh, people struggling to get married okay so I'm going to be dealing with any curse that was placed over your life, whether you know it, just pray along with it. Sometimes people put your names on altars. Sometimes people took, uh, they have taken pictures of you and they put it on altars. Sometimes they put your personal item and they say you'll never get married and you don't even know. So I would say ask God to expose or show you anybody who is doing that to you. But even without that, it just pray this prayer. Some of you are going to start having dreams that somebody put you on an altar to not get married after you pray this prayer because you're not exposing the demons that were hidden all this time. Every evil altar, come on, you're going to repeat after me. Every evil altar that it was erected on my behalf for me not to get married. I declare right now that it will, it will not speak over me in Jesus' name. Come on. Every evil altar that was erected for me not to get married it will no longer have power over me in jesus name it will no longer speak over me in jesus name for who the sun sets free is truly free indeed and no weapon including evil altars formed against my marital life shall prosper come on say it with me no weapon including evil altars formed against my marital life shall prosper say it one more time no weapon formed against my marital life no evil altar no weapon formed against my marital life shall prosper in jesus name it will never prosper so every witch that had cursed me for me not to get married, your powers are broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every witch that put my name on altars, uh, that, that, that did rituals on my behalf for me not to get married, it will never prevail in Jesus' name. No witch will work against me. No plot of the enemy will, will, will work against me. No weapon formed against my marital life shall prosper. No weapon formed against my marital life shall prosper. A witchcraft will never stop me from getting married. Come on, say it with me. A witchcraft will never stop me from getting married. Come on, say it again. A witchcraft will never stop me from getting married. A witchcraft will never stop me from getting married. So whoever is blocking me from getting married, your powers, your witchcraft powers will never prevail in Jesus' name. I said the powers of witchcraft will never prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. The powers of witchcraft blocking me from getting married will never prevail in Jesus' name. The powers of witchcraft blocking me from getting married will never prevail in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Witchcraft don't prevail against me. Jesus Christ has already set me free at the cross. So witchcraft will never prevail against me in Jesus' name. Come on, witchcraft powers, come out. Come on, some of you are dealing with witchcraft. That's why you're not married. Come on, witchcraft, come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, your spirit of witchcraft that was released over them not to get married come out in the name of jesus christ witchcraft will never prevail you said witchcraft will never prevail your spirit of witchcraft come out by fire i said your spirit of witchcraft come out by fire i said your spirit of witchcraft come out in the name of jesus christ these people are gonna get married so that spell that was placed over them that curse that was placed over them for not them not to get married those evil authors that were, that were erected against them for them not to get married they will no longer speak over their lives i said come out your witchcraft spirit come out your witchcraft spirit come out no weapon formed against them shall prosper 
No curse, no spell, no hex will stop them from getting married. Your powers are broken now in Jesus' name. Witchcraft won't stop them from getting married. I said witchcraft will never stop them from getting married. Witchcraft will never stop them from getting married. I declare and I prophesy the sound of my voice. People are going to get married. Spirit spouses are going to leave people. Witchcraft is going to be broken. The chains of witchcraft will be broken. The chains of generational curses will be broken. The chains of sexual perversion and spirit spouses will be broken. And people are going to have fruitful and blessed marriages. So I declare right now you are defeated. Your demon has been preventing people from getting married. From, from, from the beginning of time. I declare right now your powers are broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. People are going to get married. Many of you don't even know that spirit spouses are marrying spirits. They're from the marine kingdom. These are demons that live in the water. So if you have dreams that you're seeing mermaids and you're having dreams that you're that, that you're seeing a lot of water and you're always beside the water, you're naked, or if a woman, if you have dreams that you're naked, that you're exposed, that you're wearing your, your dress half naked, which is why people don't even know that when you see women dress, dressing half naked, it's because they have a marrying spirit, they have a spirit spouse that's making them dress seductive. So they attract the wrong the wrong men in their lives. You need to repent of that if you find, if you know that you are dealing with that spirit of loss where you dress provocatively so men can see, you need to repent of that. Okay, if you're having dreams that you're naked, you're having dreams that women, if you're having dreams that you're here, doesn't look good you don't look good in your dreams it's because the devil is hiding you so that your husband cannot find you okay so you don't look attractive in the natural realm it doesn't matter how, attra how attractive you actually are when these demons hide you in the spiritual realm you're very hidden and no man will find you and even if a man does find you a, a, a man does does see you and, and want to get married to you after a while he will just change his mind which is why sometimes men promise women marriages and then they don't, don't just don't marry to them okay men it's usually the spirit wife that comes and sleep with you tries to seduce you for women you might not look good in the spiritual realm uh you 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 your 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 um dating married men that's also a sign of of a spirit spouse that you're not you're not getting married because if you're going to be dating a married man even in your dreams or sleeping with a married man in your dreams that means that in in the natural realm you're not going to get married because you're already tied to uh you're, you're in the in the in the spiritual realm you're you're tied to 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 the spirit spouse and you're tied to married men which means that you're never going to have a husband of your own so these are dreams of spirit spouses or sometimes you start dating or you start praying about marriage and these demons will show up in your dreams because they don't want you to get married but listen today is a day of liberty today is a day of freedom jesus christ has already set us free listen i promise you people are gonna get married after this prior audio people are gonna get married people are gonna see their spouses people are gonna know who their spouses are people are gonna be seen by their spouses after not being able to see be seen for so long by 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 anybody by by anybody who'd want to get married to them people who have been choosing the wrong partners for so long they'll start to see the right partner that god has for them People are going to get married. You just need to lift your faith and say, I will get married in Jesus' name. I will get married. No spirit spouse will stop me from getting married. No witchcraft power will stop me from getting married. No witch, no jealous spirit. Sometimes people are jealous of you. They don't want you to get married. That will never prevent me from getting married. I am delivered and I'm liberated in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody needs to say, I am delivered in Jesus' name and I will get married in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I am delivered. Somebody needs to believe that Jesus Christ is already setting you free. Some of you are already vomiting and, and burping and coughing and, and, and shaking and, 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 and you feel fire. Some of you are already being delivered. And Jesus Christ is going gonna, is gonna to continue this deliverance process. You just need to believe. These evil altars are very dangerous. So you have to be extremely consistent. If you're using this audio, don't just use it one time and think things are going to change immediately. A lot of times deliverance is progressive. So you need to keep using this prior audio until you see the manifestation of your blessing, until you're actually married. Every evil altar speaking against these people, I send fire to that altar now. Wherever their names have been put down, every pictures, every, any picture, any 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 personal item, any whatever it is that they were that was laid down against them on their behalf for them not to get married. I declare it will no longer speak in Jesus' name. Receive fire, every evil altar. Receive fire, every evil altar. Receive fire, every evil altar set up against them for them not to get married. Receive fire, every evil altar set up against them for them not to get married. I said, receive fire. Every evil altar set up against these people for them not to get married. I said, receive fire, every witch. Receive fire, every witch. Working against it. Receive fire. Your powers are broken now, your witch. Your powers are broken now, you're your witchcraft. Jesus Christ came here and delivered us at the cross already. Jesus Christ came here and defeated the works of 
from the enemy at the cross. So that means you are defeated. Your witch, your paws are defeated now. Your paws are defeated now. Come out of these people, you witchcraft spirit. Come out of these people, your spirit of witchcraft. Come out now by fire. I say, come out in the name of Jesus Christ. No longer will witchcraft stop them from getting married. No longer will they be cursed or, 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 or on a spell not to get married. No longer will they find the wrong partners. No longer will they do the wrong things and, and engage in sexual sin and keep going in cycles and cycles. That, that is broken now in Jesus' name. That is broken now. Witchcraft will never prevail in Jesus' name. Witchcraft will never prevail in Jesus' name. I said the powers of witchcraft will never prevail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I'm going to start praying against soul ties right now. So if you know you have been dreaming about your ex, but even if you have not been, still pray these prayers. Okay, it's always good to be safe. But if some of you are listening to this right now, you keep dreaming of your ex. It's always the same thing over and over again. That's a sign that you are cursed not to get married and there's a spirit spouse in your life. It's just that the spirit spouse is manifesting in your ex, manifesting as a soul tie so that you never get married to anybody as you keep being tied to your ex in the spiritual realm so you can never meet anybody in the natural realm. But I break that soul tie now in Jesus' name. The Bible says, who the son sets free is free indeed. So I declare right now the sound of my voice. Those who are listening to me that have been struggling with soul ties, they've been attached to their exes, whether through sex, whether through conversations, whatever it is, whether 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 through foreplay, it doesn't matter. However it is that they got connected to these people, I break that connection now in Jesus' name. I break that soul tie now by fire. I break that soul tie now by fire. I break that soul tie now by fire. I declare that they're free. For the Bible says, when we call upon God, he'll answer us and deliver us. The Bible says, who the son sets is free is free need uh, the truth of god shall set them free uh, so they are free from soul ties they'll no longer be tied to these exes uh, they'll no longer be tied uh, to these people instead uh, they will meet their god-given spouse uh, instead uh, they'll be free from the sexual sin of their past or whatever it is that indulge in their past uh, they'll be free and they will they will receive the spouse uh, that god has for them i said soul ties are broken now uh, in jesus name uh, soul ties are broken now they're no longer connected to that person spirit uh, they're no longer connected that connected to that person uh, through through emotions, through loss, whatever it is, through so-called love, they are, that they're free now at the sound of my voice from every soul tie. Every ungodly soul tie is broken now in Jesus' name. Every ungodly soul tie is broken now in Jesus' name. Every ungodly soul tie is broken now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God's hands are lifted up against every soul tie and they shall be cut off god's hands are lifted up against every soul tie and they shall be cut off god's hands are lifted up against every soul tie and they shall be cut off god's hands are lifted up against every soul tie and they shall be cut off oh the sun sets free is free need so today at the sound of my voice you're free through the power of jesus christ today at the sound of my voice you're no longer connected to your ex today at the sound of my voice you're free now to get married and you're free from anything you did in your past with these people these people are now in your past you're a new creature old Things, things are passed away you are no longer attached to this person with spiritually physically whatever it is you are free in jesus name and you're gonna get married you are free in jesus name and you're gonna get married come on if it is that you are sleeping with this person if you repented already it's fine if you did not repent you need to repent no you just say god i, I please forgive me for everything i did with this person in the past I am a new creature now. I am different. I will, I'm, no, I'm no longer indulge in these sexual acts. I'll no longer find myself in these positions. I want to walk right before you. I want to I want to be a righteous man or woman of God. I no longer find myself in this position of being with somebody that God did not send for me, of having sex before marriage, of engaging in certain activities before marriage or certain conversations. I am freed from that in Jesus' name. Come on, this is for people who want to pray prayers to find their spouse. Now, let me tell you something. Many persons are deceived into thinking that um, once they meet somebody, this is the person that God sent for them. You need to pray and fast. And ensure that God is speaking to you before you get married. Fast. You need to pray against spirit spouses. But then again, when you start listening to this audio, you're already going to be praying against spirit spouses and evil curses in your life. Because what will happen is that when you have curses in your life, when you have spirit spouses in your life, they lead you to the wrong person. So you will feel like, oh, this is definitely God because the way we met, not knowing that a demon led you there. The only way to truly know if God led you to somebody is through fasting and prior. And prior, meaning that you're going to be breaking these curses from your life. And you're going to, to renounce any connection you had with the Marian kingdom and with spirit spouses. And then you're going to ask God to reveal your spouse to you not just through this is who I want this is what I want no many persons are deceived into thinking that oh just because they met somebody this is the right this is it doesn't have to be the right person 
even if you are a christian that person is a christian it doesn't mean that they are right for you you have to go down in fasting and prayer and let god reveal things to you through dreams okay that's very important to make note of these dreams all right so i'm going to be praying uh prayers for those who want to find their spouse for those who need direction regarding your spouse okay i think everybody should be praying about this because after you've been delivered from these demons after you have renounced these covenants and the and and the, destroy these altars you no need to ask god to lead you to your spouse okay i declare right now come on you're gonna say after me i declare right now that every spirit spouse that was hiding me from my spouse that they no longer have authority over me but jesus christ has already defeated them at the cross so they'll no longer hide me from my spouse i will no longer be misdirected to the wrong person i will no longer be blind as to who my spouse is for the women i will no longer be covered up and hidden in the spiritual realm so that my husband cannot see me so in the name of jesus christ i am delivered and i am set free from witchcraft evil altars spells rituals generational curses sex demons spirit spouses i am free in jesus name so my god-given spouse will find me and i will find them for i am delivered from evil spirit spouses i am delivered from the curse of witchcraft that was over my life not to get married come on somebody needs to say that again i am delivered from the curse of witchcraft that was over my life not to get married i am delivered from the curse of witchcraft that was placed over my life not to get married and in the name of jesus christ my spouse will find me and i will find my spouse come on this one is for the women every demon that was hiding my glory covering me up making me look unattractive every spirit spouse that was hiding me covering my glory making me making me look unattractive your powers are broken now in jesus name your powers are broken now in the name of jesus christ your spirit spouse come on talk to that demon you will no longer cover me up you will no longer interfere with my glory anytime you see your hair not looking good in dreams that's what's going on your hair is falling out your hair doesn't look good your hair your hair your hair is not combed properly these things are signs that your glory is being affected in the spiritual realm anytime you have dreams like these that's what it means some of you might not have had these dreams yet but when you start praying, you're probably, you're probably going to have these dreams and it just means you need to pray more and break it until you start seeing a change in your dreams. Because when you start praying, you're going to see changes in your dreams. So I declare right now that the spirit spouse will no longer fit my appearance. The spirit spouse will no longer fit my glory. They will no longer affect how I am presented to my rightful husband. For I am delivered in Jesus' name. I am delivered from the spirit spouse in Jesus' name. The marrying kingdom will never stop me from getting married. I said the marrying kingdom will never stop me from getting married. Come on, ladies. I will no longer find myself in a position of sexual perversion. Come on, that means if you're dressing half naked and you're showing stuff on the internet, you're not gonna get married because you're already if you're if you're doing this, you are entertaining the spirit spells and you cannot get married because you already gave that demon a space a place in your life. You have to repent of doing all of that. Repent of everything that you have done in the past concerning sexual perversion and ask God to make you a new creature, which we already already did earlier earlier on in this same very audio. So I will no longer indulge in sexual perversion. I will now get married. And I will now find my rightful spouse in Jesus' name. So every demon that was covering me up, so my husband could not see me or find me, that, that veil is removed now in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody needs to remove that veil by faith. Come on, remove the veil by faith. That veil that was covering me up, so my husband could not see me. I remove that veil now in Jesus' name. I remove that veil now in Jesus' name. That veil that the spirit spouse put over me so I could not get married and my husband could not find me. I remove that veil now in Jesus' name. I remove that veil now in Jesus' name. I remove that veil now in Jesus' name. And I'm fully visible to my husband. I am fully visible to my husband and he will find me in the mighty name of jesus christ come on you're gonna use this audio every day until you, your husband finds you and you, you what you could do you could ask god for a sign to let you know what your husband will be like so when you see him or when he finds you you know that this is it you know you're not gonna be deceived in this season 
And if even if a counterfeit comes up, because sometimes counterfeits will come, because of how you've been praying against spirits, poses, and, and marrying spirits and generational curses and witchcraft, you immediately you're gonna have dreams that you're gonna start having dreams that this person is not the right one because you're already praying against these spirits, poses that were blocking you and sending these wrong persons. You're already exposing these demons and destroying their kingdom. So you're gonna know when they send somebody to you. In the past, some of you didn't know that they sent these persons for you because guess what? You were in covenant with the spirits, pose. So when he sends somebody to you, or when it, 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 she sends somebody to you, you don't even know that this person is not of God. Because you, you're, 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 you're in covenant with this demon. So when he does or she does something, you don't even know. You can't even identify what you're doing. But when you have separated yourself from this spirit, when you have been delivered from this spirit, when you have invited Jesus Christ in your life to choose your spouse, and immediately when the, the counterfeits come, you'll know. Sometimes people don't pray against spirit spouses and lost spirits and sex demons that have been in your life. Sometimes you can be very well saved. You're not having sex or the marriage. You're not doing anything. But because of the covenant that you made with the spirit spouse in the past. Okay, when you in, indulge in sexual perversion, you 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 form a covenant with the spirit spouse. Whether it's masturbation, pornography, adultery, fornication, you form a uh, a covenant with the spirit spouse. So even when you repent of your sins, if you have not renounced and cancelled, I I am I'm, I'm, I'm broken covenant. You can still be in covenant with the spirit spouse, and you don't know, even though you're not indulging in sexual sin, which is why a lot of Christians are not getting married. And sometimes too, it's because of generational curses. Your great grandfather, your grandfather, your grandmother, they indulge in all sorts of sexual perversion. They make covenants with spirit spouses in the married kingdom, and because of that, you now cannot get married, even if you didn't indulge in any kind of sexual sin so you still need to break these covenants which we did uh, we, we, which we already did okay you need to keep using this audio until your spouse comes this one is for everybody this declaration is for both men and women i declare right now that just as how god assigned his angel to abraham's servant to find rebecca those of you who don't know the story abraham sent his servant and said go find a wife for my my, my son isaac Go find a wife. Okay, when the servant was going out to find a wife for Isaac, which is Abraham's son. So this is Abraham's servant going out to find a wife for Isaac. Abraham said, my servant, go out in, in the fields, look for a wife for my son. But the Bible said the angel of God went with Abraham's servant and led him to Rebekah. So you're going to pray now that that very angel that God, that God assigned to Abraham's servant to lead him to Rebekah, that very angel is going to be with you okay the same god yesterday today and forevermore so if he can assign an angel to find the right spouse for somebody he can do the same thing for you so i declare right now come on you're going to declare with me i declare right now that that same angel that went with abraham's servant to find rebecca that same angel is assigned to me now in jesus name that same angel is assigned to me now in jesus name that same angel is assigned to me now in jesus name and that angel is going to lead me to my spouse for god has given his angels charge of us to keep us in all our ways so that same angel is going to lead me to my spouse many persons don't know that their, their angels are there to help you god is the one that assigned your angel so the same god that assigned that angel to, Ab to abraham's servant to find rebecca is the same god assigning that angel to find you your spouse uh, to, to, to to locate your spouse uh, i declare uh, that, that the angel is assisting you in finding your spouse uh, that angel is assisting you in finding your soul your spouse come on, come on somebody needs to receive that that angel is assisting me in finding my spouse for god has given his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways lest i dash my foot against a stone so that same angel is helping me and have been assigned to me by God to find my spouse. That same angel has been assigned to me to find my spouse. That same angel has been assigned to me by God to find my spouse. In Jesus' name, I will no longer be misdirected as to who my spouse is. I will no longer be deceived as to who my spouse is. I will no longer go, go, go out finding the wrong person because of lust and because of the spirit spouse that was leading me astray. But I am delivered in Jesus' name every spirit of witchcraft because the lord told me to deal and touch on witchcraft again because many of you that's what you're going through so i'm going to do another session again for you to be delivered every spirit of witchcraft that was released over my life not to get married your paws are broken now in jesus name come on every spirit of witchcraft that was released over my life not to get married your paws are broken now in jesus name many of you i see you even before you start using this audio people have put your names on altars not to get married people have taken stuff from you put it on altars your underwear your personal clothing for you not to get married you're here whatever it is or you're just your name or picture women will look at other women get jealous sometimes women will curse their partners um to not find a wife because they've been hurt 
sometimes men will curse their their, their ex-partners not to get married because they don't they're very obsessive and possessive sometimes people just look at you and decide that you shouldn't get married sometimes people think that you just shouldn't get married or your family shouldn't get married sometimes somebody put a curse on your mother not to get married and sh her and her children or, or or her daughters will never get married and this, this was before you were born but at the end of the day jesus christ is more than able to deliver you so every witchcraft power that was released over you not to get married i break it now in jesus name i break it now in the mighty name of jesus christ i break it now in jesus name every curse of witchcraft over your life not to get married every spell that's over you not to get married i break it now by fire i break it now by fire i break it now by fire I I break it now by fire. I break it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Uh, your witchcraft spirit. You will no longer stop them from getting married. Uh, your paws are broken now. Uh, that, that declaration that was made over you that you will never get married. Uh, I overturn it now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I overturn it now in Jesus' name. Uh, that declaration over your life that you'll never get married. Uh, it will never stand. Uh, it's the word of God that will stand in your life. Uh, that you will get married. Uh, the word of God will stand in your life. That you will get married. And uh, you'll be happily married. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No witchcraft power will stop you from getting married. No witchcraft power will stop you from getting married. No witchcraft power will stop you from getting married. No witchcraft power will stop you from getting married in Jesus' name. I said, no witchcraft power will stop you from getting married in Jesus' name. But the Bible says, oh, the son says free is free indeed. Yes, I love that verse of scripture. I'm always repeating it. So that means you're free from every witchcraft that was sent your way for you not to get married. You're free from every witch that's speaking over you not to get married. You're free from every person, every jealous person that declared that you'll never get married. And I work witchcraft for you not to get married. You're free and you're delivered in Jesus' name. Some people are going to look at you and wonder how you got married. Some of you are going to receive phone calls from people wondering how you got married. Because they tied you down not to get married. And they wonder what did you do? Just let them know that Jesus Christ set you free. They might not even come to you directly. Some will, some won't. But just, just let people know that Jesus Christ set me free from spirit spouses, from witchcraft, from generational curses, and I'm able to get married. I'm a new creature. All things are passed away. What I used to do in my past, I do them no more. And some of you as well, when you start having these sexual dreams, because what will happen is these spirit spouses, spirit spouses create covenants with you through dreams okay so they come in your dream they sleep with you they try to seduce you they try to touch you they try to get you pregnant those of you having dreams that you're pregnant that means you have a spirit spouse women if you're having dreams that you're pregnant you have a spirit spouse it means that your spirit spouse is sleeping with you in the spiritual realm and he's getting you pregnant that's why you have issues of the womb that's why a lot of women have miscarriages when you see these evil dreams you need to cancel them do not wait okay demons establish covenants through a dream so if you start praying with these audience and they keep coming in your dreams it's because they're trying to establish a covenant okay and if you if you're praying 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 and they keep coming increase your prize that means if you are using this one time a day use it three times a day now if you're using it two times a day use it four times a day okay sometimes you need to increase the warfare in order for demons to completely leave all right no i i saw in the realms of the spirit that people are going to get married after using this audio it's no credit to me I am just a vessel. Jesus Christ is setting you free. He's the one that delivered you. He's the one that's found your spouse. Many of you are going to testify. He's going to ordain your marriage. He's going to send your spouse to you. Your angels are going to work on your behalf and lead your spouse, your spouse to you. So I declare right now at the sound of my voice that everybody who's listening is already delivered and set free. Come on. Somebody needs to say, I am delivered from spirit spouses in Jesus' name. Come on, I am finally delivered from spirit spouses in Jesus' name. Say it again. I am finally delivered from spirit spouses in Jesus' name. And I am going to get married. Yes, I am going to get married in Jesus. I am going to get married in Jesus' name. For these altars that were speaking against me, these evil altars that, that were erected by witches for me not to get married, they will no longer speak over me in Jesus' name. These evil altars that were erected by witches for me not to get married, they will no longer speak over me in Jesus' name. These evil altars that were erected against me for me not to get married by these witches, they will no longer speak against me in Jesus' name. Generational curses end with me and I'm delivered. Come on, say it with me. Generational curses end with me and I'm set free. Generational of curses end with me and i'm gonna get married i am delivered and set free in jesus name i am delivered and set free in jesus name i am delivered and set free in the mighty name of jesus christ go and be married amen